Run in the shop. Yeah, yeah. I want to see as well. How does yeah. it work yeah. out? Do you know, it's really heartwarming to watch these people that, you know, there were times when I began and I thought, oh, God, they're never <laughs> going to do this. What am I going to do? How is it going to reflect on me? <laughs> and it's, it's absolutely an incredible journey to stand back and watch these people, the employees, some of which have been folding sheets for 23 years and putting, mm. displaying them on a... Uh, a display stand um, and then all of a sudden they're doing something totally out of the comfort zone yeah. that they didn't imagine they could do or pull off but not only did they come up with the idea they carried it through mm. and we had the histrionics we had the crying we had the temper tantrums you know that was just from you yeah, that was just from me, yeah. <laughs> There were a few times when it, oh, for God's sake, of course you can do this, don't cry. Yeah. Just don't cry. <laughs> In the first show, you choose two cashiers to run a DIY shop. How did you choose them? Did you go through all the staff and give them your, you know, terrifying interview technique? I, um, you're talking about Tuskers, aren't you? Yeah. No, because I, I actually did my own bit of digging first and it was just um, kind of a casual chat with them yeah. to say... Um, like young Tom, for instance, I thought I, I could just tell by talking to him, A, that he'd got quite a painful past and he lacked in self-confidence. And I thought he deserves a chance and I think this guy can do it. He was only a kid. Yeah. And I thought I really want to give this lad the opportunity to shine. And I knew, you know, they say there's a silver lining behind every rainbow, behind every rainbow. And in this programme, it, there is, there most definitely is. Yeah. And he and Debbie and a few others were that silver lining. And my God, did he shine. Oh. And so much so that, you know, at the end of the programme, when John came back to see how they'd done in the business, I said, look, if you're not giving this lad a promotion and seeing, mentoring him through to better and bigger things, then I'm stealing him from you <laughs> because I can't <laughs> him in my yeah, business. It, it must be hard for them then to go back to the Yeah, normal but no, job. he's done it, he was promoted, and he's doing really good. And, and this kid, you know, lost his brother when his brother oh. was only 10, and he'd suffered all kinds of mm. panic. He had to drop out of university because he was suffering panic attacks. Mm. So, you know, I was really... I felt honoured yeah. and privileged to be able to watch that transformation from, yeah. you know, a, a kid that... So it's so all